All right, I've got Windows 8.1 here. Um, Internet Explorer is my default. I've got all my favorites. Uh, I can use it in the, you know, as a tablet, full screen app, uh, whatever. Um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to update Windows to Windows 10, uh, the latest build, and um, Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've updated to the latest build, the 10.122 build of Windows 10. Uh, now let's see, uh, you know, about default. Uh, oh, actually, I think uh, we can just go here. If we go settings, we'll be able to see this here. Uh, yeah, apps. So you can see default apps, web browser, Project Spartan. See, so for instance, uh, if we go click on a link somewhere, uh, it's going to open up Spartan, well, or Edge. And the first time Edge opens, it opens this new tab here. But so we can see this. Um, you can see it will have imported, yeah, all my favorites. Although things like that were in folders. Oh, this may just take a long time to show up. I'm not sure. Yeah, there they go. It just take a long time. That's really weird. Okay. Anyway. Yep. Uh, for some reason, whatever Internet Explorer is still like in the taskbar. But um, if you click links and stuff, it's going to open up. Uh, it's going to open up Edge. All right. Um, right. Uh, you'll notice, so like Facebook, well, I thought Facebook was a favorite. I have it on here now. Uh, Facebook, Facebook, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not logged in. Um, I did somewhere along the upgrade process. Did I open up Twitter and log in? Oh, no. Yeah, all right. So it, it did not, for whatever reason, um, Edge did not uh, import usernames, passwords, cookies, things like that. Um, but it did get the favorites. Anyway, um, now uh, let's go install Firefox. We have really got to do something about this. We've been taking care of it in uh, Google. Um, but if you're an IE user and you're using Bing, uh, you're going to see stuff like that. Anyway. Let's go get Firefox. Let's close this. Let's uh, minimize this for a moment. I just want you to see what it looks like. This is what the stub installer looks like in Windows 10 right now. Uh, let's go ahead and import. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so we've got our modal here, and we get another modal. Go to Settings, System, Default Apps to set it as your default browser. 
Okay, so that's this here. Settings, system, default apps, right? And you can switch here. so hard here so web browser and then you can choose another app like this Firefox for instance right but let's just leave it for a minute oh, this stupid thing interfering again with the tour let's take a tour let's see right the new menu that's more than a year old um, hello Search. Mm, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> close if you say so. All right, start browsing. Okay, so let me show you this. If I go here to options, right, is not your default browser. If I click make default, I don't get that Windows modal. I do have the um, control panel open up with this long thing where you can pick Firefox and set the set it as default, which is not a pleasant way to do this. Uh, but anyway, let's go back here. Let's do it here. Firefox. Okay. So now Firefox is my default browser, although Firefox doesn't think so. Yeah, that's a bug, I guess. Let's see. Uh, options. Yeah, see? Not your default browser. Make default. And it wants you to go uh, here. But we don't have to because it really is the default. Um, as like, let's do a search about pizza. Right? And it, uh, opens up in uh, Firefox or if I am uh, using an app and I click a link it will open in Firefox so it is default just doesn't think it is for some reason what if I close it and reopen it will it think it is let's see Nope, it still doesn't think it is, but it is. Okay, so that's weird. Um, anyway, that is uh, upgrading to Windows 10 uh, and then installing uh, Firefox.